The Asset Tiger mobile app is designed to work seamlessly and logically with the web application. But with the mobile app, you can carry your list of assets with you wherever you go. And the app is integrated with the camera, turning your phone or tablet into a barcode scanner, which is incredibly helpful. I'll show you a few of the mobile app's most convenient features. One quick note to start. If you're scanning most types of barcodes, the app is already configured correctly. If you're scanning 2D codes, barcodes that look like this, you have to change the settings. Touch the menu icon in the upper left. Touch Setup. Touch Barcode Scanner. And opt for the Data Matrix 2D Barcode Scanner. And again, for every other type of barcode, use the default scanner. When you have the correct one set, touch Save. And now to get back to the dashboard, touch the menu icon and Dashboard. Okay, to add an asset, you go to the menu icon in the upper left, select Assets, and add an asset. Here's the same list of information you'll find on the site. To scan the barcode, click the barcode icon on the right here. The camera is now activated. This button will give you the option to use the camera's flash or not, depending on the light in the room. Just point it toward the barcode. And now you can fill in all the information, just like you would have done on the website. But remember, only the description and the asset tag ID are required. I'll speed this part up. And when you're done, touch Save in the upper right. Or a shortcut is to touch the scan icon in the lower bar. If you point it toward the barcode of any item already in your list of assets, you'll go right to the information for that asset. If it's a new barcode, you'll have the opportunity to add that asset. All right, now a second way that the mobile app is really handy is if you frequently check assets in or out. Touch scan on the bottom and scan the barcode. Now here's the information for that asset, a battery charger. Touch actions on the bottom. And here's a list of the myriad of things you can do with this asset. For our needs, we'll touch Check Out right at the top. Assets need to be assigned to a person to be checked out, so do that right here. And when you're ready, touch Check Out in the upper right. To check it back in, you do the same thing. Scan, touch Actions, touch Check In, and Check In again in the upper right. Easy. There's another way to do this. Touch Action on the lower right. Touch Check Out. Assign the asset to a person. And then scan the barcode by touching the Scan Barcode bar on the bottom left. This is handy because after you scan that asset to assign it to Gina Chen, you can click Finish or click Next to just keep on adding assets that you intend to check out to Gina. This method saves you time if you're checking out a long list of things. And the final thing I want to show you is using the app for an audit. A lot of businesses do periodic audits of all of their assets. The goal is to check on every piece that you have and make sure that it actually is where it should be and it's in working order. Using the web application, you have to create an asset report and bring that report to the assets to check to see if it's correct. Using the app, you cut out a lot of steps. Okay, to run an audit, click on the menu icon in the upper left. Click Tools, and click Audit. To name the new audit, touch the plus sign in the upper right. I'm going to call this one Q4 2017. Click OK. Now, to complete your audit, you have to go through each site and each location with your phone or tablet in hand to see that the list is correct. We have two sites. I'm going to start with Brooklyn. We have a few locations within the Brooklyn office. I'm going to start with the main workspace, which is where I am right now. There are a couple of options here, and I just want to mention the first one. If you touch here, any asset you find in the wrong place will be reassigned to the place where it's actually located. This might come in handy depending on the way you organize your workspace. Okay, starting from the bottom, you can access a list and check the assets off as you see them. I see the three desktop computers, so I check those assets. Scroll to the bottom to add these items to the audit. Touch Audit. 
See, three assets have been added. Okay. You can enter the asset tag IDs manually here. But why do that when you can use the camera on your device to scan the codes even quicker? I'm going to touch cancel and now scan barcode. I scan my first asset tag. Success! It's been added. And you just continue from there. And that's just a few ways the mobile app enhances the functionality of Asset Tiger. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to give us a call. We have a trained staff of experts who are ready to help you out.